Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, yesterday we were talking about weight shift versus ground forces. We're going to continue that discussion today, uh, get a little bit more in detail so we kind of know what's going on um, and we know what to work on. So again, yesterday when you think of weight shift, and I know this is how I was taught um, you know, many years back, is that we're trying to get our weight over to the right and then stop up here and then over to the left uh, and into our finish. So you know, the few things that I have a problem with that is, is one, you know, I don't like to think of a top of the swing. We want to feel like we keep our athleticism, that it's one motion. So there's, there is no top. Um, number two, when I start shifting weight over here and shifting weight over here, see my, my center point or bottom out point or my whole body mass starts to move. So um, again, that bottom out point is moving everywhere. So it's I'm more likely to hit it thinner fat rather than ball first contact with div afterwards because I never really know you know where my bottom of my swing is going to end up if I start moving um, body mass like that. So yesterday we were talking about force into your right, force into the, your left, um, you know feeling like your hip sockets, your right hip when it moves back. So again as the club swings back our hip socket moves away from the ball and our force goes into our foot and on the way down force goes into our foot again, left hip moves back. Now, the first thing I want to do is, is start out with uh, just a pitch shot, which we start on our left side, so there is no really weight transfer, because I really I want to get into how do we get over to our left side if there is no weight shift. So um, first thing we're going to do is talk about pitching. So again, pitching, we're on our left already, um, so we're just kind of using that left leg or front leg as a pivot point. So when we swing back, we push away and the face runs into the ball. Again, push away and the face runs into the ball. So there's already force into our foot. Again, we, we lean left and so when we swing, it, it pushes. So when, again, when I push, it makes my arm, arm come in. So it pushes away and it makes room for my, for my arm to come in, okay? So how do we get there? Well. Um, if you saw one of the previous videos, I used this as an example for what our hips are doing during the swing. Okay, so we know that the average, again, the average player, we've been told to, to lock our right side, trying not to sway, trying not to feel like we move off the golf ball too much. What ends up happening is our left, left hip gets further than the ball center goes in and then we're told to clear our hips and the hips clear and we run into the ball and there's nowhere for our arms to go. So, um, for the players that are real good that I've seen, here, here's how their hips work. So when you swing back, your right hip, again, force goes into your right, your right hip socket pivots back. That makes your center go away from the ball. Now, here's how we get to our left side. There is a little bit of lateral motion. Okay, that puts your left foot in the ground. Then as we swing down and through, your left hip is gonna pivot away from the golf ball. So again, my center gets, keeps getting further away so my arms can swing down uh, and my body's not in the way. So again, if we were to kind of make it all one motion because we don't, we don't want to be static, we'll feel our hip move, little, little lateral motion, then left hip move, okay? So again, Back, lateral, left hip moves back. All right, so now we know what we want to feel there. Okay, so we get ready to go. So again, my, my left hip's gonna move back. I get into my left, left side. So right hip, left, left hip back. So it's all one motion. So it works here, there, there. Back. Lateral, so I'm just putting my left foot into the ground and I'm, and I'm pushing away. So it's, it's really close to any other sport, just like in baseball. If you were, if you were to pitch, as soon, as soon as you pitch, see I've got to time this back to the ball. So when the pitch is coming at me, the back moves back and my leg goes lateral. So I put my foot in the ground. The ball, <clears throat> when I get into impact, see my front hip pushes away and my right arm lines up with the bat, okay? So it's the same thing, same thing. So when the ball's coming at me, I get back here, I step forward, and when I'm ready to explode into the ball, this lines up and this hip moves back. Same, same thing in golf. So 
what the lateral motion does is it actually, it kind of gets my arms going down a little bit. So I'm actually moving lateral before I get to the top of my swing a little bit. So I've already got, I'm already into my left side when I get, get down there. So again, I, I swing back, hip moves back. I get to my left side and push. So you can start to see how it's all one motion. Hit moves back. So basically with that lateral motion, I'm just putting my left foot in the ground. I don't want a, a ton of lateral motion. I certainly don't want my knee and my hip to go well outside my left foot. Again, so, so I wouldn't want to feel like I'm going this way because that's just going to drag the handle and then push. See, now I'm way outside. I don't have as much ground force into the, <clears throat> into the ground as I'd like. So again, as it gets back into here and I get back, so my arms are almost back and I'm already pushing into the ground. You can see how it starts to drop my arms. You know, I get into the ground, and I get about right here. See, I push and let the, let the golf club move. So again, that lateral shift, it's all one motion. It kind of gives me that first part of the downswing. That's where you've heard the term ground up. Um, you know, it gets my, it softens my arm up and that's what, helps me shallow the golf club. We're going to talk about that again tomorrow, about how to shallow the club properly. But today, we're working on feeling like it's all one motion. Hip, hip, lateral, push. So we're pushing this hip, hip back. There's a little bit. I'm just putting my left leg in the ground, and I'm pushing away again. So it's not a huge lateral motion. You've heard of people talk about a little bit of a bump, um, and that's okay too. So it's it's just one lateral motion. You can see how my arms can continuously stay soft. That helps me shallow out the golf club. Okay, do that one more time. So I never feel like my lower body stops. In other words, there's nothing static about the, top, the backswing. There is no top of the backswing. There's a start and there's a finish. So again, think of forces. There is a little bit of lateral motion uh, in the full swing. With a pitch shot, we're already left. So all we're doing is timing up your hip with the face of the club. Now when we get into the full swing, forces move back a little bit. We do have to, we have a little bit of lateral shift before we push away. That kind of, that lateral shift pretty much gets us to about right here. So the club's in front of us, face is square. We push and let it go. So hopefully that helps out and we'll talk about shelling the golf club out tomorrow and kind of wrap up lower body.